everybody and welcome and thank you for joining me for another episode of adventures of chris in the last episode we were able to get a little fireball punch which is pretty cool and raise our helium level up to two balloons instead of one so i can actually use it twice before touching the ground again which is awesome took care of our first world with the first the first thing that we were supposed to do was to go to Mexico to get the fire magic, and we did that, so that's awesome. We met the uh, little annoying vampire kid again, and he caused some problems. But we got lots of places to go. We can go to Los Angeles. That looks like it's in Chile. Okay, just Chile. That's Europe. Transylvania, okay. We got somewhere in the Philippines, Malaysia, Japan, and Australia. The one of the things that I, the Great Barrier Reef, the one thing that I do think that is a little bit interesting, and I don't mean to be nitpicky about this, is that the first one over here doesn't say United States. It says Los Angeles, a specific state or a specific city rather, sorry. Los Angeles is a city, not a state. So this is a city and the rest of these are either countries or region regions. I, I don't know, I just think that that's weird. I think this should over here say USA or something like that, but that's kind of a nitpick there in my opinion. But let's go into Los Angeles and see what this world is all about. Okay, we are in a train, that's not good. What are you doing in my city, kid? What? Smog monster? How did you know I was here already? Cause I own this town. Every puff of smog in LA answers to me. I know when every magical bean enters, exits, or eats a burrito. What do you want? I've got 15 seconds. Uh, well, I guess I heard you know how respected and feared you were, and yet, how merciful and generous a leader you are. That's true, everybody's always telling me how merciful I am. I'm extremely merciful. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, that's right, you are. And so am I, uh, respectfully asking for the life of the kid turned into a toy. You know, respectfully. Hmm, I like your style, kid. You got a good eye for people. I tell you what. No, <laughs> I didn't expect that. I think that poor toy kid is safe with me in my refinery. Wait, don't you think kids' own wishes ought to matter? Uh huh. I see what this is now. You're one of those high horse and moralized hippie types. You think I'm a monster just because I'm a monster? <laughs> what? No, absolutely not. You think you know better, eh, Ippy? You want the toy? Fine, come and get it. Well, that's, you tried. At least you tried, Chris. I, I vote that's good. Is that going to hurt me? I'm afraid that, oh, that's, that was a weird effect there. That, yeah, okay, so, can I end up? Ow, how am I gonna jump to that car over there? Because the, Speed is throwing me here. I can't just yeah, it's pushing me back. So that's whoa, okay. Let's not do that. The puffs of smog are hurting me. So we gotta watch out for that. Oh Okay, well everything's hurting me now. Oh shoot. Oh gosh. This is going to not work out very well here. This may not have been the next place to go. Now, an open world area like this is kind of difficult because you don't know the next area to go. So in like, I mentioned this is kind of like a Mega Man feel to me. And I'm getting that feel that where you really don't know where you're supposed to go, one way is a lot better than another, but you don't know which that is. So that's a little frustrating and you've kind of got to just figure it out on your own. Now, over time, people have figured out the way to go in Mega Man, but we don't have that luxury here. You just kind of got to figure out the best way to go, and I don't think I'm going the right way. This is probably not the right... Oh, 
option right area to go next. I keep on walking too close to it and getting smacked just by trying to get close to the next jump. Uh, oh, yeah. Can I exit out? I can save and quit. I don't think I can get out of here. I don't, I'm not sure that there is a... I didn't want to get hit. That's what I did that for. I don't think there's a way to like exit out of the level, which is a a little frustrating, I gotta say, because I keep on wanting to puff up, but this is not really helping me in this area. I gotta punch. I gotta hit him so many times. We can do this. I just gotta hit him. Ah, come on. I am not gonna make this. Now, this one hits the edge of that truck a little bit, okay? Got it, got it, okay. We can do this, I think, maybe. I wonder if so many fails will allow me to... I jumped right in. I timed that one all wrong. I wonder if save and quit will take me completely out of the game or not. I'm not sure. Yeah, I want to... I got to almost like run at it when it's puffing up. Like, you run when you see it, so that it's gone when you jump, make that jump. There we go. We got rid of him a little bit better that time, but I'm still not sure about this level. This is going to be a really hard if I can't get out of this. We made that. I could do this. This one was a little bit tricky. I can get a little bit closer. Ah, I did not make that. I totally biffed that jump there. Okay. These jumps are just perfectly sized to... Like, you have to be, like, right at the edge to make the jumps. Well, most of them... Okay, well, we got him really easy that time, which is good. I like that. But these these jumps are definitely hard. Right, right there with, like, where you need them to be. And I don't know where the edge of these cars are either. There, okay, I kind of saved myself there, which is good. Ah, shoot, jumped up in a small ball there. There we go. Okay, well, I'm not sure if I'm doing any better. Oh, there's a... Milkshake at least we got to a milkshake here. Oh There's also a milkshake up. Oh, there's a flag. Oh gosh. I'm not sure if I want to do this or not See if I can catch that flag up there I'm gonna have to like There we go. Ha we got a flag. I don't know what the flag's gonna do for us But we got it and I'm happy about it Okay, let's Ah, oh, she's just so close. Oh, wow. That's right on my face, too. Okay. I can do this. I wonder if I got to hit the small guy so many times or knock him away so many times to beat the boss. Let's just see if we can get the timing here right. I don't... Ah, oh, shoot. So close. I can't. There we go. I really need... Okay, at least we're off the cars. I'm much happy about that. That's for sure. Oh, oh man, it's out, oh, please. Whew, I was so happy. I am so glad that that did that. I was like that I didn't have to do the cars again. At least we made it through the cars. Ah, we got that. This is a nasty area. Oh, slime monsters and smog things and kind of crazy here definitely i gotta say that that area was very tricky that car area was tricky but it wasn't impossible it's not like very impossible i feel that the mega men levels are hard in that they're almost impossible if you're not doing it the right order that's the one of the big things that i don't like about mega man and i haven't played a lot of the mega man games but mostly just the early Mega Man games. I have played a few of the older ones, but mostly the, the, the early ones. 
and i gotta say that i was always really disappointed if you didn't go the right way it wasn't a little bit harder it was like exponentially harder and almost impossible if you didn't go the right way the the way to have the right oh gosh okay we can't do that the way to go have the right way to go basically and they've designed the, the game so that you know you can pick up a power up and everything is really nice but just the idea of not i have no idea what's below me oh there that worked out for me i was out of balloons and i was worried that i was going to run into something so i just kept on floating so that like actually kind of worked out for me there so that did that early part did not seem impossible so i do like that it wasn't definitely wasn't an impossible like i would think of the mega man parts oh gosh i didn't expect it to blow. i would have figured that it would have maybe if i'm a balloon then it blows me up oh yeah, ouch okay this is not gonna work out for me very well i got to figure out how to do this okay so how am i gonna do this okay now i should be able to go over and get those awesome so if i'm a balloon it'll push me oh i got another thing but if i'm not a balloon it's not going to push me it looks like so ah shoot okay yeah ouch i need that i need that so badly where we go Whew. this is tricky definitely very tricky here can i just fly over these guys because that'd be really nice i would recommend also to kind of check all the areas because it does seem like there's usually like little secrets like this oh look at all those spiders over there oh my there's definitely more than one way to go through an area and those are like different spiders those like are are super creepy ugly spiders oh that's another balloon guy wait a second i know you you're the one of the lost balloon debuto masters who's supposed to train the hero i'm chris he's still not gonna say anything there's this kidnapped kid here i need to rescue do you think you'd help me please i mean i could maybe possibly almost perhaps be the hero this guy's weird no no you won't help me or no i'm not the hero no will suffice for both i cannot teach you magic child i see but perhaps I can teach you a useful technique. It's called Super Bounce. It allows you to bounce, pound the ground and bounce quite high. It will also re render you immune to harm as you descend. Oh, here we go. We got the bounce technique now. Thanks. I bet I can bounce on monsters and turbines with this. So, so do, there we go. So I'm floating. So I have to be like floating and then I can bounce down and here's the perfect I'm floating bounce down that worked out although there was too many spiders there I think for it to work out quite right there's a platform up there and I kind of wonder if I can go up higher because there is that but it might just be the top out so definitely like look around for things and areas and stuff when you do this because it's going to how am I going to get? There we go. Super bounce on turbines to avoid damage. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, ah, well, that didn't work out for me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, they reset all the monsters. I didn't expect that. I wonder if they reset the... They do reset the everything. Now, I probably have lost the cookies I picked up. I would like to know that for sure i didn't go very far there's the monsters okay, let's just go ahead and go down here oh so we need to figure out how to bounce on these turbines down here i'm trying there we go we did it yeah boy oh this is gonna be much harder i don't know i keep on hitting the power but i'm just i'm just hitting the bounce button 
There we go. We did it. I made it through. Woo. That's all I needed. Okay, can I get over that guy without getting spit on? I'm trying to get. There we go. Ha ha. This is exactly what I wanted to do. I need that. The cookies and the chocolate. Oh, crap. Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to. Oh, wow. That was quick. That was a fast ascent. It's just going to get difficult, isn't it? It's going to get difficult. Okay. So you can bounce as many as the balloons you have, it looks like. And yeah, bouncing takes one of your balloons. And you can bounce quickly and do that. Or you could hit it once and it bounces you a little bit higher. So. Oh, ah, my freaking. I don't, I'm not getting this. There's something here I'm missing here on my bounce technique. That is, I'm not doing quite right, I think. I bounced right into the ground. That was not helpful. Okay, so if I jump. I feel that I'm doing something here that's not, yeah. There's something about the bounce technique that I feel that I'm doing not quite right, but I'm making it. No, I can't. Okay, so I don't need the balloons to do the bounce and that's what I was thinking I was doing you just got to be in the air and you could bounce and it's got to be a little you can't just hammer the button down I think is the issue you've got to kind of tap it and let up to do to reform your normal floatiness and then bounce okay so I should just be able to go above all these like that Woo that was close but I'm gonna have to do a little, yeah, a little spinny thing there. Smog. Oh, get there. Can I, eh, eh, I want to kill that thing. I'm barely making it through here, but that's cool. We are getting close to, there's a checkpoint and the world map, which is good. I don't want to go out. I want to fight the boss, actually. Well, kid, you made it this far. I admire your hustle. Really? Can I have the kid then? No. What kind of chump you take me for? Let me go. Well then, I guess I'll be playing the part of Captain Planet then. <laughs> that's awesome. Excellent. I'll be looking. I look forward to murdering you. Wow, that's kind of like crazy. I don't know the exact word. The, okay. Okay. I can't roll into those. But I can shoot them, it seems like. And he seems to be just... Oh. And I'm figuring that uh, he's going to end up doing something... Oh, ouch. Different here a little bit. I was not ready for that. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I can roll into them to beat him. Okay. I was not... It didn't look like I could do that at first. So what I was doing is I'm trying to figure out the best way to take out, take him out. I'm trying to find the, like the, I mean, there is a definite I am not getting enough damage to him. Uh, his pattern is what I'm trying to get. Shoot. Ah, shoot. I can't shoot him when he's, I mean, I can shoot him on my way up. Oh, oh yeah, fat boy. Let's see how you handle this. Oh gosh. Well, I was not quite ready for that. Like, put me in right in the exactly wrong spot. Hmm, this is going to be quite tricky. 
He definitely has a pattern, that's obvious right away, and I blew that right at first. Wonder if I can. I can't shoot up, and I wonder if he's just gonna stay up there. No, he doesn't. Okay, that's good. If I could avoid his stupid smog balls, that would be very helpful. And this is not really helping me out any. I mean, I'm taking a little bit of damage off of him. I'm gonna like jump and avoid his... Oh, come on. What are you doing? I jumped into that when I was in a... Yeah, this shouldn't be hard. Just go around. Boy, I'm gonna have to shoot him as I go around, it looks like. I'm not sure if hitting the arms is, is hurting him or not. I mean, I think it should. Well, we are doing it. I mean, it's taking long time to get. There we go. We got something different. Uh oh, ah, this is going to be a, a good challenge here. And maybe, I don't know, if I'll need more help? I really think I can. Okay, so you're gonna start there, which is where he always starts. I mean, the the tricky was, I'm not sure where the trickiest one is. I just gotta watch a little bit closer, I think. There was a couple hits I really shouldn't have got, I think. I feel that there was a couple hits I shouldn't have got. I mean, not like, it cheated me, but I know that I could have, if I would have just done a little bit better, I could have avoided. That one when he first changes right into, I've got to be on the ready for that, and it's going to come soon. I don't really want to go up there and challenge him. There we go. That's what I got to be ready for. That's the thing that I wasn't ready for the first time. And now the other one's really not hard either, I don't think. It's just you got to watch. Gives you plenty of time to watch the smoke come out. You just got to wait for it and watch which one's coming and what to do about it. Oh, I'm st I got stuck up under there and that's 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 the deadly thing getting stuck up under that Little platform okay. One I can run under him then that's a benefit too. He doesn't come down low enough to actually hit me in the head And when he goes there that I could hit him a couple times there. Ah, shoot. I was There we go. All right. All right kid. I've had enough take the toy yeesh. There we go. That was very impressive Thanks, you are far more athletic than you first appear. Uh, I think I'm just lighter than I first appear Awesome. Oh, there's a stupid vampire <laughs> All right, smog monster. I have a message for the Society of Fiends. Yeah. Oh, what is he gonna do? He's gonna, oh man, jerk. Yes, tell them I turned you into bowl of chocolate pudding. Well, what a jerk. We're gonna end up like beating all the bosses and then come around and beating the vampire at the end, I think. I'm thinking I shouldn't eat that pudding. I could agree with that. Let's get out of here. Well, there we go. We got one of the enemies or one of the, I wish there was a place to heal. That would be kind of cool. But we've got one of the boy, kids, things here. And I wonder what the Citrus Club is. Oh, only members allowed. What is, okay, that's, we've been there. Oh, we have to give the guy his flag. I forgot about that. I got a flag. Does he tell me anything or just, oh, the flag is there. So he'll be happy about that. 
what do I, I got 400. I am going to wait because I could get another health. I think they're only some hundred. How much are they? 250, I don't want that. Because up here is the, not the non-poppable, but the one that lets me take less damage is 700. And I really want to try to grab that next. I'm probably a mere 700 cookies. So we're going to get that next, I think. But that's going to be all for the episode today. We have saved one kid here, which is awesome. And we've got a few more to save. And you'll get to see that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.